Hi, it's Keith from Cloud Design Box. Welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're going to take a look at a new bit of functionality that's become available to us within the instructions area within Teams Assignments. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you like what you see, please hit the like button and let's get over into Teams. Here we are in Microsoft Teams. I'm already in the assignments area within this class team. So all I'm gonna to do to get started is click create. And I'm going to choose new assignment. I can give my assignment a title. And once I've put in my title, I can then move down to the instructions area. And I can type in something very, very simple. So this is gonna be a Spanish Armada essay. So I've put in the most basic of instructions and at the bottom of my instructions area, it then gave me the option to start to add detail, add steps, add a bit of sparkle. We'll talk about that in a second, add learning objectives and to clarify some concepts. However, prior to getting AI to generate the instructions for me, I'm just going to come over to the settings button just on the bottom right hand side of the instructions area. I can open that. And first of all, I'm going to choose my grade level. Because I'm working in a year 11 class today, I'm going to set that to 10th grade. And also I can change the language as well. By default for me, it's set to English. However, I can generate the instructions in a host of other languages. Now that I've altered my settings, all I need to do now is just select add detail. AI will now pull out the relevant data and that will then be populated into my instructions area. As you can see, AI has now produced my instructions. If I'm not happy, I can get the system to regenerate those for me. However, I'm happy with these, so I'm just going to keep that. From here, I do get a number of options. So I can add some steps. I can also get it to add some learning objectives. These have appeared at the bottom. I'm going to keep that. However, it is a little bit wordy. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click the simplify button. That's just condensed it down a little bit. I'm going to keep that. And I'm going to add a little bit of sparkle before I post it out to my students. Adding sparkle just puts in some emojis. It just brightens it up a little bit. And if I'm happy with that, I'm going to keep it. Now that I've got my AI generated instructions, I can still attach additional resource or create fresh resource or add an app. And then all I need to do over on the right hand side here is still add turn in dates, my grading requirements and a tag if required. And when all that's done, all I need to do then is click assign. That is then added into my forthcoming area within assignment, and that is now ready for my students to complete. If we very quickly go into the student view, it's going to drop into assignments. There's the essay waiting for our student to complete. And as you can see, here are the instructions already for my student. If you found this video useful, please hit the like button. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And if you click the activity bell, you'll be notified every time Cloud Design Box uploads a new video. Thanks for watching.